In this video, we're going to solve the system negative x plus 2y equals negative 8 and 6x plus 3y equals 3 using matrices. So let's see, our initial matrix will have the coefficients of x and y on the left side of this dashed line, so negative 1 and 2. On the right side, we'll have the constant the second equation is 6x, so 6, plus 3y, so 3 equals 3. Okay, great. Our first goal is to make d11 equal to 1. d11 is the first position in the first row. Well, it's kind of nice this time. All we have to do is multiply 3 by negative 1 to make negative 1 positive. So negative 1 times R1 will give us a new R1. And let's see. The matrix is now 1, negative 2, positive 8. And we still have 6, 3, 3 for row 2. Since we currently have a 6 in the let's write this down, <laughs> second goal, we want to make d21 equal to 0. d21 is the second element in the first column. Well, currently, d21 is 6, and since 6 plus negative 6 is 0, we're going to multiply the row we just fixed, row 1, by negative 6, add that to row 2 to give us a new row 2. Let's see. Row 1. 6 times row 1, row 2, new row 2, row 1 is 1, negative 2, 8, 6 times that row, let's see, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, and 6 times 8 is 48. Row 2 is currently 6, 3, 3. And if we add the second and third rows, oh, okay, so we needed to multiply by negative 6, which I wrote down here, but you can multiply here. So let's see. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12, and negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. And now let's add. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. 12 plus 3 is 15. And let's see. Negative 48 plus 3 is negative 45. Right at this step, I, I know things are probably okay because negative 45 can be divided by this negative 15, by the positive 15, I mean, and get uh, an integer. We won't get a fraction. So that's very good. And that means that our new matrix is 1, negative 2, negative 8, or positive 8. Yes, positive 8. And 0, 15, negative 45. The third goal is always to make the next element on the diagonal equal to 1. So we want d22 to equal 1. Well, since d22 is currently 15, we're going to multiply everything in row 2 by 1 over 15, the reciprocal of 15. Okay, so 1 over 15 times row 2 will give us the new row 2. 
Let's see what our matrix looks like now. We still have 1, negative 2, 8 in row 1. And now we have 0, 15 divided by 15 is 1. Negative 45 divided by 15 is negative 3. The last thing that we need, this is a T, we want V12 to be 0. That's the element in the first row, but the second column. Well, right now, D2, D12 is negative 2. Since negative 2 plus 2 is 0, we're going to multiply row 2 by 2, add it to row 1 to get the new row. Let's see. So we've got row 2, 2 times row 2, row 1, and the new row 1. Let's see, we start with row 2. Row 2 is 0. 1, negative 3. 2 times that, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Row 1 is 1, negative 2, 8. And now we can add 0 plus 1 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, negative 6 plus 8 is 2, and our final matrix is one zero two zero one negative three. That means our solution we get. 2 for x, 3 for y, and now let's check in the original. Let's see. So the first equation was negative x plus 2y equals negative 8. And we are going to substitute 2 for x and negative 3 for y. So let's see, negative 2 is just negative 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And negative 2 minus 6 is indeed negative 8. Equation 2 was 6x plus 3y equals 3. And again, we're going to substitute in the values of 2 and negative 3. So let's say 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And 12 minus 9 is 3. Oh, that's lovely. What kind of system is this? We got how many answers? Exactly right. We got one answer. So this system, since we got one answer, The system 
is definitely consistent. It has a solution. And it's independent because it has only one solution.